It's me, Falligan. Um, Many of you might know me as Pastor Fal, but my name is Fallon. This is Fal BTV. And as you can see from the thumbnail, we're going to talk about celibacy. Um, I just wanted this to be kind of like a little intimate thing. That's why I got them on the little silk pajamas at the table. But um, all seriousness, I want to help many of you on your journey. A lot of you guys are practicing celibacy you know for me um i am a pastor of a bible-based internet church right but for me um it's more than just spiritual but it is everything spiritual in the same sentence because that is the requirements that christ asks us to stay away from fornication until you get married many of you may know and many of you don't know um that i was married for about 10 and a half years my husband passed away august 29th of this year would make 12 years so um you know i was a married woman i was single i was out there like i pretty much know every spectrum um of the walk and when it when it pertains to relationships let me just say that um now i'm not gonna sit here and act like i'm an angel i did have two relationships um after my husband passed uh i waited about four i want to say like four or five years after he passed i did wait a long time i was celibate a long time and then i met two jokers um a year after each other and i played myself it wasn't even it wasn't even really worth the sin but you know whatever sometimes i'll be like not and i ain't even gonna say it <laughs> but anyway but yeah so i really um understand you know how it goes i understand how hard it can be but in the same sentence i also i'm doing it you know what i mean i'm doing it so i'm showing you that it is possible now i have i want to say like seven years six seven years under my belt i have not laid with a man so it's been a long time and you know a lot of people say to me you're a nice looking girl you got knees and all that and i'm like that's not a need a need is food shelter water you know that's not a need <laughs> but anyway um you know a lot of people it trips them up when i first of all it trips them up when i say i'm a pastor you know god is just really um he has a sense of humor with that one but it trips people up because i have a lot of swag i'm happy i joke around a lot you know i'm fun so the first thing that they think is like oh she gets drunk she gets lit you know what i mean she has sex and it's not that's totally not me um i did you know i didn't know i was a freak until i got saved and started looking at things i was doing so like i i, I was in a strip club before um i worked in a strip club before i have um stripping i was like a two three week stripper but at the end of the day i still did it you know what i mean um I have slept with women before. I slept with men. You know, um, I used to let men, uh, if I sleep with them, they had to buy me nice things, give me their money. You know, it was a, a hot mess before I met my husband. And then I was married. So, you know, um, I know how life can get. But when you're walking with God and you say yes, and some of you, some of you might say, I'm not a Christian, but I'm just tired of giving my body away. I'm just tired of having multiple relationships, multiple people in my bed. And I just said, you know what? I don't, I don't, I want to abstain from sexual activities. I want to be celibate. I have, I have met a lot of people that may not be um, Christians, but they're saying, you know what? I want to practice celibacy because I'm just tired of putting mileage on myself, right? And I just wanted to make this video just to um, encourage you and to let you know that it is possible that you can do it. Um, it's a mindset thing. You know, you have to really say to yourself, you know, um, you know, I can do this. You know, I don't need sex. I can control that lust feeling because when you think about fornication, you think about sex and stuff like that. I always tell people it, it really is like a spirit. Like, like I don't watch certain things. That's step number one. Don't even watch certain things that's going to entice you and make you feel a certain way, right? And then certain romantic movies come on and you can't, you know, help the scene or whatever. But you guys get what I mean. And one thing I learned is that when you watch certain sexual things, there's something in the air that makes you feel like you want to be sexual so we know if that that's something in the air that's a spirit you know what i'm saying so you have to make sure that you refrain from watching things that's gonna make that's gonna arouse you and make you feel like that that 
you want to have sex. Um, number two, if you're in a relationship, they have to respect those boundaries. You know, tell them straight up, this is how I'm living. You know, this is what I'm doing right now. But don't put yourself in a position where you will relapse, where you will, you know, forfeit everything you're trying to do. So what am I saying? I'm saying like, you know what? I won't come over your house. You won't come over mine. Let's let's go out. Let's date. Let's go to the movies. Let's go here. And then if we're at each other's house, let it always be a uh, uh, um an uh, individual that's there you know what i mean let it always be somebody that's there that um you know or we can not even a third wheel or we can double date but always have an uh, individual there so you know you can't put yourself in a position where you're gonna regret it right um step three step three is even if you find yourself in a situation, because sometimes life happens and you can find yourself in a situation that a person can put you in and they're trying to get you, you know, to have sex or something like that. You know, the Bible says that there's always a way out of every temptation. So that right there is just deep because it's reminding us that you don't have to stay enclosed. You have a spirit of self-control. You have a spirit of faith, a measure of faith in you. Have faith in yourself, believe in yourself, and say to yourself, you know what? I, 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 it's not worth it. It's not worth it. And this is when you be like, you know what? I don't feel comfortable with this. I have to leave. You know, just always put the objective first. You know, the objective first. The objective is I'm not trying to have sex. Um, What else do I want to touch base on? I do want to be honest and allow you to understand that certain situations that you have yourself set in regarding around sex when you think about a relationship, 9 out of 10, that person doesn't even really um, mean you no good. You're not even really growing with that person. But most of the time, it's sex. It's a sexual, it's a sexual enticement that keeps the relationship together. But when you take sex out of the equation, you like, I don't even really like this individual. They don't even um, help me grow spiritually. They don't even help me grow to be a better person. Like, there's no connection without sex. And if you find yourself that you're in a scenario, in a situation or a relationship, and you find yourself that sex is the only thing that's holding you together that tells you right there you need to get out of that situation comment down below if you want me to go in deep and talk about soul ties because that's another thing sex brings soul ties you know the bible says that you become one flesh so when you are having an intimacy moment with a person you know that's an intimate and deep moment there are there is a spiritual and change that is taking place so there is so many reasons why i believe that god asks us you know um, to practice celibacy and, and, and not, and, um, and not be into, um, just want to be really mindful. You just want to make sure that you're not putting yourself in situations that is going to have you fornicating. You know, God does not want you to fornicate, you know, and you, you have to say to yourself, there, you have to value yourself. You have to say to yourself that, you deserve more than just somebody that's just looking at you like me. Somebody that just wants to have a relationship with you based on sex. You know, do you know my mind? Do you know, do you know my inner thoughts? Do you know um, the things that I want to achieve in life? You know, um, are you there for me? Can you sustain me mentally? You know, so many people today forget about um, the mental, your mental health, your mental stability, spiritual stability. And I just really think that sex plays a major part in a lot of relationships. And for me, I just really, really told myself that I'm worth so much more. You know, when I had um, those two guys that I had sex with, I remember looking in the mirror and just really feeling like I played myself. Like, I was so disgusted. You know, I was so disgusted to the point that I remember one of the guys was like, I don't even know why you be having sex with me because you always feel convicted afterwards. And I'm like, wow, look, that's a devil for you to sit there and set you up, take the sex, and then tell you after you have sex, I don't know why you're doing it, but that's a whole another story but you know you just really want to say to you want to find yourself when you and uh, when you're celibate it allows you to find yourself it allows you to know the things that you like to know the things that you want to to have to make boundaries and stick into them you know when you achieve something and you're self-disciplined there's so much um that you can 
achieve, right? Like, like even like we're working out, when you really get to your goal weight, it's like it's so much that you can achieve that you really feel good about yourself. That is the same thing with celibacy. I find myself feeling so good about myself because I'm like, I'm not in bondage to anything. I'm not a slave to sex, you know? And uh, it's just, it's just really, it's liberating. It is just so liberating. So I just really pray that this video would just help you a little bit on your journey. And as I gave you some pointers and as I shared my testimony, but I just pray that you remind yourself that you are worth more. You're not a piece of me, you know, and you know, it's time for you to start getting deeper in these relationships that you're in. You know, if sex is just the equation of the relationship and you have nothing outside of sex, then you don't have a relationship. You don't have a relationship. You really don't. But um, I love you all to help. That's something that I tell people that I really love and those that are really invested in me, I love. So if you are watching this video, I love you because you are invested in me and I love you to help. And if you like this video or any other videos on this channel, please subscribe to this channel. Um, hit the notification bell and comment down below. I want to know. I want to know about your journey. I want to know how long you've been celibate. I want to know, um, how do you feel about being celibate? How does it make you feel? And if you do want me to go in deeper about soul ties, I can. Just comment down below and let me know if that's one of the videos that you want to see.